What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Rainbow Six Siege. And as you can see, the battle pass has been released. There's 27 days, 19 hours, and 51 minutes left. This is pretty much for the Void e Operation Void Edge season. Today we're going to kind of talk about the battle pass and see if it's really worth buying. You know, a lot of people like to buy cosmetic things, and that's pretty much all the battle pass is, is just cosmetic items. So it's not anything that you have to buy, so keep that in mind. Now how this works, if you are new to the game or you haven't played a while, in a while since they've added the battle pass, the top tier items up here are things you get for free. So if you just play, you're going to unlock these items for free. The bottom every single level, of course, is a purchasable battle pass. So like any other game you've ever played with a battle pass, whether it be Fortnite, Apex, Call of Duty, whatever the case may be, if you purchase the battle pass, you will get both tiers. If you do not purchase the battle pass, you'll just get the top tier of items. The battle pass price, I'm not sure exactly what it cost without the season pass. Of course, I have the season pass. As you can see in the top corner, I have the VIP 30% discount. So the premium pass is 840 credits, a little under 10 bucks here in the U.S. And the uh, pass bundle, which is the pass plus 10, uh, 12, excuse me, tiers is 1680 credits. So this is going to be a little bit more if you don't own the yearly pass. I kind of wish if you own the yearly pass that you got the battle pass when they came out just for free, all of it. But that's just my opinion. First of all, let's look at the free items you get level one through seven. A, a new charm here, which is kind of cool looking. Of course, an alpha pack, which I know a lot of people are going to like. And a weapon skin for Thatcher. Now, if you purchase the battle pass itself, you will get this castle blacksmith bundle. As you can see here on the screen, you'll get all the items there on the character. You'll get a renown boost, a weapon skin for the MPX a charm for Valkyrie, also a Thatcher uniform, which I'm not sure if I really love that or not, but that's just my opinion. Of course, you will get 120 R6 credits. Now, if you are new to this, if you complete this battle pass, which goes to level 35 in the um, allotted time, the 27 days, you will make enough credits to buy next season's pass when it comes out. So every season there's going to be a battle pass. You will make enough credits each season to buy the next season's battle pass as long as you don't spend those credits on something else. Of course, the next skin we're going to get here is looks like it's going to be for Doc. This looks like it's going to be a pretty uh, bright red uniform. <laughs> That's going to stand out a little bit, but not bad looking. Um, the next items we're going to get, 8 to 13. For the free items, we're going to get uh, a charm here and a renown boost, which is nice for free. Of course, renown boost are always great to use if you're trying to rank up by certain operators, whatever the case may be. Down here in the purchasable premium pass, we're going to get a skin for the scorpion. A Renown Boost, a Ella Blacksmith uh, Charm for your weapon, another Alpha Pack, a Headgear for Doc, which is kind of the, the hat, the emblem on the hat kind of reminds me of the Operation Health, which came out a while back, if you guys remember that, or what, a couple years ago. But the mask pulled down kind of in front of his face, kind of neat looking. Of course, the Fitness Tech Charm, which is, it kind of looks like a watch. And then, of course, some more R6 credits. If we go to like level 15 to 21, free items. A pretty cool headgear here, in my opinion. That's pretty neat. I like the uh, goggles. Kind of reminds of something like you'd see on something for somebody that may be skiing or something like that, snow skiing. Of course, at level 20, we'll get an, another pack, alpha pack there. Uh, at level 15 in the premium pass, we're going to get a alpha pack, a renown boost, the skin that looks like it's going to match, I'm assuming, the, yes, the body and the weapons are going to match this headgear. Some more R6 credits. A headgear for Ash that looks like a boxing club kind of headgear, which is pretty crazy. And a uniform also for Valkyrie. The next thing we can look at is level 22 to 28. Looks like it's going to be the body for that to match that helmet there for Ash. And at level 27 for the free part of the pass, you're going to get a vector skin. Now down here for the premium pass, we're going to get another renown boost. A pair of boxing gloves, which is probably the coolest thing so far. Out of all this, I like that charm a lot. Uh, a headgear for Ella. Another charm that's universal. A alpha pack. Some more R6 credits and a uniform for Mira. And last but not least, 29 to 35 free items. You're going to get a headgear for Mira, an alpha pack at 33, and at the last level of 35, you're going to get a universal weapon charm. And for the premium pass users, you're going to get this headgear, of course, for Valkyrie, which is pretty cool, I guess, if you match it with the rest of the, uh, the body skin that you get as well, or the uniform. Another renown boost, some more alpha packs, the rest of the kind of to match the headgear for Ella, uh, some more R6 credits, a headgear for Buck, and a body for Buck as well. I kind of like this headgear. I like the jacket. I'm not sure I'm sold on the green pants or not, but 
Anyway, guys, that's pretty much what you get with the pass this time around. Like I said, this is going to last for the Operation Void Edge season. Of course, next season we'll have a new pass uh, as well. Every every season, like I said, if you haven't played in a while or you're new to the game, every season gets a battle pass. All cosmetic items, it's nothing that you have to absolutely purchase. It's not game-changing. Just cosmetic. If you like cosmetic stuff, you got the cash to spend on it. I understand why you would. If you don't have the cash to spend on it, like I said, it's not going to hurt anything. You do get some pretty nice free items if you are playing while the battle pass is out. So keep that in mind. You'll get some alpha packs and a couple renown boosts along the way. And a few other things for some characters and some charms just for free, just for playing. And if you do buy the pass itself, there are some pretty neat items in here if you like some of the stuff you saw. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. And, of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you had not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.